So if we see six less than half a number, and we're given choices um, to represent this phrase, um, what makes the most sense is to subtract six from one half of a number. Why does this work? Well, one half x means one half times x. And when you multiply anything by a half, you get half of that quantity. So for example, if it was one half times 10, you can think of this as one half times 10 over one, which is 10 over two times one or two, 10 over two, and 10 over two is 10 divided by two, which is five. So to find half of 10, we multiply 10 by one half, and that's this phrase right here. Also, if they didn't give that option, we could have thought of it as x divided by two. Take anything divided by two and you'll have half of it. For example, if you had 10, you divide by two, you get five, and five is half of 10. Six less than half a number is definitely the area where we might get confused. We're subtracting six from this number, and it's six less than this number, so we're not doing six minus one half x. That would be six minus a half x. Here we're taking one half of x, and then we're taking, well, what's six less than that? And typically if you see six less than, or any number less than, um, it's minus that amount. So if it was seven less than, you would have minus seven from one half x. So be careful on that phrase.